Welcome to a new video Honor versus Huawei, almost the same design and uh, yeah until now Huawei was always a little bit, a tiny little bit better than Honor. But can the Honor 70 beat the Huawei Nova 9? Let's find out and let's get started. So let's check out those uh, beautiful bags of those smartphones. So we have uh, the uh, Huawei Nova 9 and we have the Honor 70 here. The Nova 9 has a 50 megapixel RYYB sensor, which is the main sensor, and an 8 megapixel ultra wide, as well as two 2 megapixel sensors for depth and macro. And then on the Honor 70 we have a 54 megapixel uh, main sensor and a 50 megapixel ultra wide as well as a 2 megapixel depth sensor. And I think both have a 32 megapixel front facing camera. And uh, yeah, I think we will start off with the Nova 9. So the Nova 9 front facing camera 4K 30. Yes, even some flagships don't provide 4K 30, but Huawei decided to put 4K 30 here in this Nova 9 which I really really like and yeah this is a, one of the best features I would say. Also stabilization and uh, HDR and colors are working pretty nicely here on the Nova 9. So let's compare it with the 1080p of the Honor 70. So the front facing camera of uh, the uh, Honor 70 cannot record 4K but you can record 1080p 60 frames per second what I'm, what I'm using here right now but as I'm working with the 30p timeline yeah maybe you get maybe a little bit more smoother because it's not dropping, dropping to 27 frames per second which could happen at 30 frames per second recording sometimes but yeah HDR is working as nice as on the Nova 9 and I think also colors and uh, yeah stabilization is pretty nice here on the on a 70 as well. What do you think about the quality here? 1080p 60 frames per second on the Honor 70. And now I'm recording with uh, the Nova 9 4K 30 frames per second on the main lens. What do you think about the bokeh with the background blur, the stabilization and colors? And what I can do as well is, and that is surprising for me, you can switch to the ultra wide angle which only has 8 megapixels. So let's do it. Switch to the ultra wide angle. And every time you switch for the first time you open the camera application you get this white flashy thing going on because it's like the first time you prepared, prepared this um, camera. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm not sure how they are doing it. Also stabilization on the ultra wide angle looks pretty nice and it's probably also very very usable for vlogging. Uh, though I think the sharpness is not there and doesn't have autofocus which might be uh, an issue here and there. And uh, also it is not true 4K because 4K you know you need 8 megapixels for 4K. So what they do is probably they are using 6 megapixels and scale them up for the video. So you get slightly worse quality than on the Honor 70. But let's compare it with the Honor 70 shall we? Oh, and now I'm recording with the Honor 70 and its 54 megapixel main lens which has slightly a larger sensor than the Nova 9 and should provide a bit, little bit better background blur and it's dripping a little bit maybe some some rain is coming wow that would be awesome you can see how dry everything around me is not so much green and uh, yeah what we can do is also switch to the ultra wide angle this time around however we have a 50 megapixel ultra wide you can see the flash so it's the first time i'm switching to the ultra wide angle so we have a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle also very very wide but this one has autofocus so what i could do is i could show you the cameras the back of the nova 9 and it should be able to focus on this one here and uh, yeah this is pretty nice i would say because this allows you to do yes yeah, some, some kind of product shots but also allows you to go very close to certain objects which might be very handy for macro photography. So what do you think about this one here? Stabilization, colors, HDR and so on. I think I like the setup on the Honor 70 a tiny little bit better than on the Nova 9. Uh, both phones are very similar in their capabilities. Uh, this is the Nova 9. It has a so-called vlog mode. So what it allows me is to use the back camera in full screen mode, which uses, I think, the what is it 19 by 9 or 20 by 9 aspect ratio of the phone to the front facing camera this easily as you can see here and i even have more modes if i want to i can show you 
a double picture like an ultra wide angle and a zoomed in picture if i want to flip this uh, to yeah showing me in the front and the back at the same time so this is a very nice and very interesting way of uh, doing vlogs i personally never did such a vlog but for a travel photographer or travel videographer this might be a very very handy function and this is the nova 9 but it looks exactly the same on the honor 70 so let's try it out there so now the honor 70 that has basically the same option so what i can do i can switch to the front and now i have the front facing camera here it's also recording 1080p in this stretched 21 uh, 20 by 9 aspect ratio i think it is and uh, one thing that i noticed however is when i'm here and i want to go into this view the audio has been constantly recorded on the nova 9 there's a little bug still present that cuts off half a second or a second of my audio that you might have noticed in the last video and of course i can do this here again where it switches to a bit of a wider mode here on the front cam which i really like and i can double tap to switch it around if i want to which is also a pretty nice feature i'm pretty sure the nova 9 has the same but yeah this is an option that you have at least and yeah i think yes this is a more redefined version here on the honor 70 in comparison to the one on the nova 9 what do you think so here we have the photos, the Honor 70 always on the left and the Nova 9 always on the right. What we can see here on first glance is a bit more bluish kind of picture on the Nova 9 and a bit more brighter kind of picture on the Nova 9. So it seems to handle HDR a little bit better than the Honor, Honor 70, which has a bit more punchy colors and a bit more darker, more contrasty kind of look. Also a bit more yellowish kind of tone. See the sky here a bit more blue and a bit more yellowish here. I have to say that both are doing a fine job, but I like the Nova 9 a little bit better because it looks a bit more natural with the not so much added contrast. But when it comes to sharpness, you can see already in some nuances that the Honor 70 has a bit more sharpness and a bit more details here. And it becomes more clear when we go to the uh, zoom lens and we just zoom in. What we can see first of all is a bit unsharp all over the place on the Nova 9 and also the improvements in terms of HDR the more brighter picture is going away. You can see here that we have not only a bit more sharper picture on the Honor 70, but a little bit more information on the Honor 70. And I think despite the a little bit more punchy colors on the Honor 70, we have more details on the Honor 70 for sure, where the Nova 9 looks a little bit blurry. And this you can also see in further pictures. This is now 10 times zoom, and I don't even have to zoom in here. Uh, you can see that the Nova 9 for some reason has this 10 times zoom button. I'm not sure why, because it looks ugly. The Honor 70, however, looks pretty good. I think for a 10 times zoom, not having a tele-zoom lens looks pretty good. Of course, if I zoom into 100%, you can see that it's, uh, not, it's not good. But the Nova 9 is much, much worse. So I'm not sure why the Nova 9 has a 10 times zoom button, because it's much worse than the Honor 70. So clearly, when it comes to zoom in shots, the Honor 70 is the winner. Let's come to the ultra wide angle and let's see if you can see something different here in terms of the ultra wide angle. First of all, we can see a much wider field of view on the Honor 70, though we have a bit more chromatic aberrations, especially on the side here. But the Nova 9 is not much better. It's also getting unsharp here, but has a bit more details here in the extreme corners where the Honor 70, mm, too much uh, chromatic aberrations, not too much details. When we zoom in here, of course, wider field of view always tends to have a little bit less is or more, more blurry but in this case i think they are very very on par the only difference that you can see here is again a bit of better hdr at least lifted shadows on the nova 9 and in terms of colors we have a bit more yellowish kind of tone again on the honor 70 a bit more bluish kind of tone on the nova 9 but it's getting a bit more bluish on the honor 70. Then when we take a look at the next shot, which is a close-up shot with the main lens, we can clearly see a, the yellow cast again. We can clearly see lots of nice information in both here, but I could get a little bit closer with the Honor 70 and get a much nicer background, blur, which almost looks like a DSLR or DSLM-like shot, where the Nova 9, you can clearly see, ah, the bokeh ball's still there, so it is like a lower aperture or smaller sensor, and in this case, it is definitely a smaller sensor. So both looks fine, but the Honor 70 looks a bit more pleasant to the eye, more cinematic or more, yeah, DSLR-like. 
Close-up shots with the Nova 9, you have a 2 megapixel macro lens and yeah, this is 2 megapixels, you can change the view, get a bit closer, but that's all. On the Honor 70, yeah, you have to fiddle a bit with the autofocus, but if you get it right, you get this kind of shot and this is true macro in comparison to the Nova 9. Yes, this is really 100% of the Nova 9, so the 2 megapixel one is not really good. Not even in colors, as you can see here, and not even in detail. So yeah, there's no comparison. It can get even closer on the Honor 70, even though I get like the, the tips here a bit out of focus, but I have so much detail here. It's not perfect, but it's it's clearly macro lens and the flexibility of the ultra wide angle is perfect. When it comes to autofocus and autofocus handling here of this shot, I think the Yona 70 made more pleasant to the eye shot again. Uh, again, I was taking it from the same position and uh, did not use tap to focus or anything, but you can see the Nova 9 was uh, focusing on this here and creating this kind of shot where the Honor 70 looks pleasant already because it looks a bit more yeah, bokehlicious here. It was focusing here in the front, which makes everything else a bit more blurry. And I think it did the right decision because it's a much more pleasant to the eye look. Um, but what do you think about it? Otherwise, in terms of focus, I didn't see much of a difference. It's just if you get a bit closer, the Nova 9 is not focusing as close as the Honor 70 is doing. When it comes to zoom shots, again, this is a zoom shot here with some uh, written text. Maybe I take this one here. And you can see a more pixelated look on the Nova 9. So it's trying to yeah, get rid of this unsharpness. But if you compare this and you compare it with this one, it looks a bit more uh, realistic on the Honor 70. Clearly, the Honor 70 is not using so much sharpening here, but it doesn't have to because the crop in on the main sensor is definitely just a little bit better. When it comes to selfie shots here, we have a brighter exposure on the Honor 70, a bit more yellowish kind of tone again, also on the front facing camera, which I really don't like because I think the colors here on the Nova 9 are better, but ooh, what, why is it zooming so much? I think it's using full 32 megapixels where the Honor 70 is using a pixel binning. And I think the pixel binning is just, you can see the sharpness, my beard, my hair, everything just much better. And for some reason, Nova 9 has my face a little bit more reddish, which I also don't like. I really don't like the Honor 70 being too yellowish but I can tune it a little bit down not to have it so yellowish bright as you can see here the green grass is more realistic on the Nova 9 here it's a bit too yellowish on the Honor 70 I would I would say uh, the background blur on the Nova 9 automatically chosen portrait mode is much uh, more but yeah the foreground blur is also there so not sure what's going on here and I had uh, taken a second shot here not at a second shot here uh, with the Nova 9 in uh, definitely portrait mode and it's doing something here with my hair, weird stuff, but it, it's not increasing the blur as you can see here. And uh, yeah, it looks, it just looks better on the Honor 70. Low light shots here, I would say very, very similar. Again, you have a bit more whitish kind of color and a bit more yellowish kind of color. And you can see again that the main sensor on the Honor 70, especially in low light, you can clearly see which one has the better sensor. And here in terms of sharpness algorithms maybe, but also sensor and information, it can work with the Honor 70 much clearer, much sharper, bit over sharpening going on, a bit of noise creeping in already. The Nova 9 is a bit soft for sure. And you can clearly see it here on the tower as well that it is a bit yeah soft and here it's sharpened up definitely but uh, also more information to play with and the ultra wide angle looks a bit brighter on the nova 9 but it's not more detailed on the nova 9 you can clearly see that and this is very spectacular because the honor 70 has a much wider lens but in terms of sharpness there's not much of a difference also in terms of hdr i think there's not much of a difference maybe there's a bit of more reddish kind of color here um and here it's getting, of course, the, towards the sides, it's getting blurry and pixelated, more pixelated than on the, on the Honor 70. So I think the Honor 70 in general is doing a better job with the ultra wide angle. And almost the same, I would say, for the main camera. First glance, it looks like, oh, the Honor 70 is much, much darker. We have better HDR on the Nova 9. The R over B sensor is working better, much better HDR also in the sky. Yes, for sure. But when you zoom in, the details. Look how blurry it looks like on the Nova 9 and in comparison to the Honor 70, how sharp it looks here. Granted, maybe a bit of over sharpening also on the Honor 70, but it just looks more pleasant to the eye if you want to crop in and want to have like such a shot where the Nova 9 is just too blurry to do it. So here towards the side, again, we can also see clearly that there's much more noise and much more denoising going on the Nova 9. The Nova 9 is, Nova 9 is much less sharp than the Honor 70, which has a bit more noise definitely, but also a bit of sharpening, but it has the better sensor and you can clearly see it here. 
And uh, another shot here where I think the Nova 9 nailed the colors a bit better because the sky color was a little bit lighter blue than this darker blue that we see on the Honor 70 as well of the river here. But when I zoom in, again, the same. It doesn't look good on the Honor 70. Lots of sharpening going on. But in comparison to the Nova 9, uh, it is definitely better. You can see details that you cannot see on the Nova 9 with it because everything's simply blurry, which is uh, not very pleasant. I corrected in Pro Mode the color a little bit of the Honor 70, a bit more yellowish, a bit more warmer color. This is the actual color of the sky that I saw with my own eyes. And yes, this reddish kind of yellowish kind of hue here uh, towards the ground is also true because we had lamps there shining exactly in this color. And when I zoom in here again with the pro mode, it doesn't do so much post-processing, but still, even with this not so great post-processing, it is beating the Nova 9 in every way and form. So the Nova 70 definitely has the better main camera. What's with the ultra wide angle in uh, super low light conditions? Lower light on the Nova 9, but also uh, overblown highlights where we have a, the super wide angle by the way, taken from the same position. And you can see how much more details you can see here because it's much brighter, interestingly, on the Honor 70 in this super low light condition. So if you have a little bit more light, the Nova 9's brightening things up a little bit more. But if the light gets a little bit more darker, then the Honor 70 is better despite having the super wide angle. And it's dealing much better with the highlights here that is overblown here, not so much here. We have a bit more noise on the Nova 9, a bit more structure in the building, however, where everything is a bit of smoothened out here on the Honor 70 for sure. And yeah, in general, also towards the edges, you can clearly see the Honor 70 has the better um, ultra wide angle as well. So overall, I would say the Honor 70 is the winner, not maybe in uh, HDR so much, but sharpness and um, yeah, details with the ultra wide angle, close focusing distance, zoom, it's a clear win for the Honor 70. I wish it would be a bit better in terms of HDR, but this is like, um, it's beating the Honor, the Honor 70 is beating the Nova 9 for sure. Honor 70 versus Nova 9. So which one is the clear winner? I have my favorite. I think the Honor 70 is better than the Nova 9. It has the better main sensor. It has definitely the better ultra wide angle. You can see it clearly in the colors of the ultra wide angle that is still missing and lacking on the Nova 9. And in general, I think it is the better device, but you have to keep the price in your head. And the Nova 9, you can get almost for half of the price of the Honor 70, right? now and that makes you maybe think about it otherwise when it comes to camera quality video quality definitely the honor 70 is here the winner and especially the vlog mode that yeah is working flawlessly even with external microphones attached i think the honor 70 is the perfect vlogging camera in the mid-range section right now the only thing I wish Honor would do is offering 4K 30 at least on the front-facing camera. It has four. It has a 32 megapixel ultra wide, uh, ultra wide angle, maybe not, but a wide angle camera. So it would be perfect for vlogging as well if it, this would, yeah, offer 4K. I think even the Pro version has 4K. So maybe it's just a software limit, is it? We don't know, but I hope they can upgrade this somehow to offer 4K. Even if it's upscaling from 6 megapixel, just like the Nova 9 does, it still looks better. This is why, yeah, this was a clear winner also against the uh, Honor 50 that only could record uh, 1080p on the ultra wide angle. So, yeah, what do you think about this one here? And uh, my conclusion of this comparison write it down in the comment section that's everything for this video if you want more videos about the honor 70 about the nova just click in my or click on my channel clicking on the videos there i have a huawei playlist and an honor playlist you can watch all the videos there and of course there are some new videos coming out about the honor 70 as well so until the next time bye